Now we are going to discuss about how to change a purchase order. If you remember, we created one purchase order. So we are going to go into that purchase order and we'll click on the change. Okay. And here, if you want, we can change most of the stuff. So if you notice, suppose I want to change the quantity. Okay. So I'll change the quantity to 13. Okay. And once we change it and we save it, so this purchase order has been changed. Now, the most important thing every time you have changes, you know, without change, you cannot do anything. Okay. So, suppose you have changed the purchase order. Now, there might be a question where you want to know who has changed the purchase order. So, in this case, you click on Environment Document Header. And you click on header changes. So I changed something in the item. So in order to know whether an item has been changed or not, if I need to select an item because you need to know which item you want to see the changes. So if you click on, I can go and see. If you notice, I changed from old value to new value when it was changed, and it tells you which transaction code I went through. So it catches everything. SAP. The biggest thing it's a sock system no one can fool the change history okay let's be honest lots of people has tried it but it's it's virtually impossible to do now another thing that you can do in purchase orders these are things these are tips and tricks that you can do is you can put personal settings where you can mention what are the default values so sometimes it may happen that you you are in the working in a plant and you want to put specific stuffs that you can so for a purchase organization you will always choose gbi us because you are in us and if i go to purchasing group you will select north america suppose okay and then if i want company code i'll select always this company code okay so if you want to default more stuff sap already has given these things you can default those so instead of so i showed you how to copy but in cases where you're going to create stuff all these fields needs to be populated but if you want to default like you always i don't know about the pay terms whether you want to default or not but some of the terms like info terms if it's, it's if it's related specific to the plant you can default those okay now if you click on copy there are stuff on the items that you can always always default so you can say always propose and you can mention your plant name and all those things so this is pretty useful and there are more fields so uh, this helps in the day-to-day -day operation of a buyer or whoever is changing the PO. okay so this is pretty useful okay now if you notice so i showed that if you change stuffs now there there would be stuffs which you cannot change actually like the item category so since it's a uh, since this is a stock transport order that there ideally should not be any account assignment because we are not moving money here and there it's it's not i'm not paying anything okay so that hence there was nothing okay so now here if you see the material group i think it, it's coming from the material number so you don't get it so here you can add more values the invoice piece you know you don't really need anything here now here if you want to change the price let's change the price let's see how it behaves so i'll save it so we allowed we, we change the price now let's see what whether it shows that whether there was change in the price so here it's not showing because it, i changed the price in the condition let's see whether the condition header got changed okay so here the conditions i changed it if you see the valuation price also changes probably i need to go to the header environment header changes and here also there is no changes so let's go probably didn't update in the conditions so let's go to the item details and here i changed it to fifteen thousand. And let's see, environment item changes. So yeah, here it didn't show. So the, the pricing didn't 
show the changes in pricing. Now here, there are lots of things that is very important, especially on the pricing piece. Pricing is one of the most important things. There are other things that will be used for external vendors. So you can do acknowledgement, orders acknowledgement. Now, another thing is the delivery tab. This is useful. You remember where we, uh, in, the, in the purchase order flow, we told that we need 10 laptops, but we need five laptops at a certain date or something. You can do all those things here on the scheduling piece, okay? So there, if you notice, there is the delivery scheduling. So I can put, say, suppose here it is 10. So I put six here and on a later date, suppose, on a later date, I'm putting another seven. Okay. And let's see. And can delivery date be made? That's fine. So if I if I changed it now, see, uh, if I go to that document again, and I'm going to the item, item overview, go to the header, and if I scroll down, and if I close this, Go to the item overview, go to the item details. Now you see the delivery scheduling has changed. So think, assume this is a this is a purchase order where I need six laptop at this date and seven laptop on this date. Based on that, the vendor will give me the shipment. Okay. So this covers everything God related with change purchase order. And again, you can, some of the fields you cannot even change because those are primary key, okay? And uh, SAP has done this like uh, stuff like the company code, these are not primary key, but there are stuff like the vendor number and all those things you cannot change, I'm sorry. Okay, so that's everything about changing the purchase order.